Hey there, how are you doing? Team Win Central here, and we welcome you all to the hands on video demo of the build 16215. Microsoft last pushed the build 16215 as the latest Fall Creators update preview build to uh, Windows Insiders in Fastwing, and it is said to be one of the most significant builds ever in the history of Windows Insiders. The significance of the build lies in the fact that it has brought many new features and changes. The list is too long and here in this uh, demo video we will take you through, uh, we'll do a walkthrough uh, of most important and standout features and changes. So let's begin with uh, a very important change. So as you can see this keyboard, this is a new keyboard and uh, this was leaked earlier, this was supposed to come and it's a swipe keyboard or a shape writing keyboard that has arrived to Windows 10. It was like it is supposed to have the Microsoft Wordflow technology. The shape writing is a trademark of Microsoft and plus it will have the Swift key prediction engine. So as you can do, see if we can actually swipe here. We can use both the mouse as well as we can use a uh, touch to swipe here. So, okay. And uh, this keyboard is also very convenient to use. You can actually move it anywhere. So let's quickly check how the swiping works like. Okay, so not quite, uh, quite, quite accurate. Yes, but I mean, you have to be very careful when you write with it, then you will perhaps uh, get the accuracy. Yes, so this is how it works. You can also notice this uh, uh, microphone here, microphone I can hear for a dictation. This is a dictation test. So this is, this works better, I think. <laughs> So stop it. So uh, you could uh, easily see, I mean, the, uh, this new, so this is a very standout feature, a new feature, a new keyboard uh, altogether. And it is quite handy when you are in tablet mode, when you want to use just one hand for writing, you can actually use it. So this is how it works. So a uh, new keyboard with shape writing and a new prediction technology and apart from that a new uh, button microphone button for dictation. So these are like uh, this is quite a new I mean this is uh, a totally new feature which comes to Windows 10. Now there are certain improvements in the keyboard etc. Like so if you go to the handwriting so this keyboard has also seen many improvements. So if you now write and move to key, uh, next word, the word will be recognized itself. So as you will keep writing, uh, the keyboard will recognize the word and enter it. You can use the emoji. So there is improvement in this as well. And this dictation uh, button, it's available everywhere where which you can actually use. So like these are the major changes uh, and one more change that I would like to highlight here. If these were the changes with the top keyboard, now if you go to the hardware keyboard, uh, you can now enter the emoji using the hardware keyboard. So that is something new. Now what you need to do is to just press the windows button and the period and this emoji keyboard comes out. Yes. And this is possible anywhere using the hardware keyboard. So that is what is important. So these were the improvements in the keyboard actually. A new keyboard entirely and then there are like lots of uh, very neat improvements and neat new features 
now going to what else has changed if you come to microsoft edge you can notice these uh, logos like uh, you can see that npu is here and you can also see the logo for win central here so what happens that you can now pin the sites your favorite sites to a taskbar and you can easily access them by you just doing one tap <clears throat> So I can just uh, pin Nokia Pulsar and Central to taskbar and accessing it becomes easier. How you will do it is like this. You open a website, you now go to the menu and you do pin this space to the taskbar. And it's done. If you right click on this, then you will see a, one more new feature which is add tabs to favorites. You can do this for all the sites. You can add the, uh, those tabs, basically the tabs to the favorites. And this will be shown here under the favorites. So you see the favorites bar, imported from, and here you will see if you have added it to the favorites, you will see one more uh, imported or like the tab from today. So let's quickly do it so that you can understand. So it's like tabs from 136. So it will show up here. What else has uh, changed or arrived or has made a comeback in uh, this build 16215 is the full screen mode with help of F11. How to do it? Just do F11 and you will see the full screen mode getting enabled. Do F11 and you will see the full screen mode getting disabled. So this has also arrived. This was available in Internet Explorer and it has made a comeback. Now just to test that hardware key, emoji keyboard, so press windows and period and you can see that hardware, uh, so emoji keyboard pops up. Now there is one more neat feature which I would like to demo quickly, is to share, the share has changed. So what has changed, what has, what is new in here, so is that not only it offers uh, various you know uh, various various sharing options it also offers an option of copy link so now you can copy link and it will be with you copy it and you can now share to anywhere so this is what Microsoft has again reintroduced kind of okay so now coming to other improvements uh, Cortana has got smarter there are two new features in Cortana one is called a Cortana camera roll for enabling or using that feature you need to go to Cortana settings you go to permissions and history now you go to manage the information Cortana can access from this device you see you will see an option of camera roll if you toggle it on it allows Cortana to access your camera roll for any poster of an upcoming event and Cortana accordingly can create a reminder for that, you create a reminder for that event uh, so that you would be reminded about that future event. So I mean just remember that you have to uh, toggle it on for uh, making the Cortana camera roll uh, feature active. Now there is one more feature which is called Cortana Lasso. <clears throat> that is a feature which is related to uh, I mean related to pen. So since this uh, Laptop does not have a pen input, we would not be able to show it to you, but you can actually use that feature to uh, use a pen for, uh, I mean, just, you know, if you have a uh, event poster or if you have a website with an event information, you can use your pen to circle the time information and quote another calculator reminder. So which sounds very cool and actually you can use that feature. Now there are many more improvements uh, with the pen. So we talked about the browser here, Microsoft Edge. So you know that you can annotate, uh, so let, here I can annotate on this browser. But uh, with build 16215, if you are using this Microsoft Edge to read the EPUB books, you can annotate on that too. So that is one, again, a neat, cool, neat feature, which is new. So we talked about Cortana, we talked about Microsoft Edge, but what is a very visible feature which we have not discussed till now is 
in start screen you can see a fluent design touch here the acrylic is here the blur is here you go to action center and you will notice the same changes <clears throat> so the most visible changes are like these two so both the start screen and action center have gone uh, the fluent design touch now coming to just the start screen start screen has got the diagonal resizing as a new feature so you can do it if you have a bigger display you could do it easily and it will work even the horizontal and vertical resizing work better now there is one more thing uh, if you use tablet mode then you will see that transition to tablet mode has become better it's easier and looks better even the Microsoft Edge, the splash screen when you open the Microsoft Edge, the color transition, etc., has been improved, made better by Microsoft. So what else has changed? If you go to settings, you will notice that Kotana settings has moved and it is now in more central position. If you go to personalization, in video playback, you will notice many new settings. So this is one bug which Microsoft already reported in their uh, change log for builds 16215. Then you see this option like automatic, automatically process videos to enhance it, allow video to play at a lower resolution. Here I don't have HDR resolution display otherwise there would have been an option of whether you want, what you want to do, whether you want to uh, get more performance or you want to get more battery life etc. So here you have other set of optimi optimization so decrease the resolution when on battery, disable HDR on battery etc. etc. So if you have a SDR display, you will all uh, be able to use and make use of these kind of settings. Apart from that, if you are uh, in apps, now if you uh, uninstall any app, you will see a progress bar. So that is again a new thing. Okay, coming to more features or more new things. If you go to the Wi-Fi, now there are more options. A more imp like improvement in the option so if you right click you see here you will now see three options or like four options you are not already connected so connect disconnect properties and forget so it's connected so it, you can disconnect you can see the properties you can forget so let's go to properties to see you will see the change here as well so this page has also uh, gone undergone the changes now you see the profiles like public private you will make so this this feature has also it, it had leaked earlier but now it is available between 16215 so the new changes and features don't uh, really end here there are many many more if you go to the ease uh, of access there you also will notice a very uh, new and cool feature which would be very helpful for those who use it so like if you go to color and high contrast now there are many options so you just apply color filter to the screen and you see many options. Grayscale, which was earlier, I mean, it, it is a uh, existing option. Now you see invert, you see grayscale inverted, you see this, you see this, you see this. So obviously it will be, uh, it will prove to be very useful for those with disability who use this ease of access. There are many changes in uh, gaming as well. So if you use gaming, uh, I mean, you do gaming a lot, you will now see that there are many, many improvements. So uh, the game bar, Win plus G now has a button to enable or disable game mode. Uh, then it allows to take screenshots of the game running in HDR. And it, the HDR uh, screenshots can be now copied in PNG. So these kind of new features are available in the game mode itself. There are many new features for developers as well. At least three I can read. So uh, runtime broker, Windows subsystem for Linux, no longer requires de developer mode and Hyper-V gets virtual battery support. So these are the features for developers. 
I talked about ease of access improvement. There are many more. So there is one scan mode on by default. So you can do a lots of things now like up and down arrows to get through everything. So for those who use these ease of access features, there are many, many improvements. So what would we would recommend is to go to Win Central and read the article with the change log, which is huge. You would like to go through it. In this demo video, we would not uh, be able to demo everything. We are we have demoed only those features which are like major, which are new, and which are more consumer focused or oriented. For reading everything, you can go to our website and read all. We will provide a link in the description of this video. So before we come to end of this video, I'm trying to uh, recollect. So what we have, uh, we all have covered is like we covered new keyboard, the keyboard, keyboard improvement, Microsoft Edge improvement. Then there are visual changes, visible changes. We talked about sharing improvements. We talked about we talked about uh, important settings improvements. Apart from that, as we said, there are many improvements in the different inputs like Chinese input, Japanese input, etc. And uh, many, many more. So as we said, please go to our uh, site and read all the full change log. So with that, we come to end of this video. Hope you have liked this video. Uh, stay tuned to Win Central for reading more and stay tuned to Win Central on YouTube for watching more. Thanks for watching.